Hey guys, it's Lena and today I will be showing all my recent purchases from October 2022. So um, that month I bought quite a lot of stuff, but the final cut is very, very limited because I also returned a lot of stuff. So it happened. I tried to buy and to wear quite a lot of pairs of shoes, but they didn't fit me very well. I think it was four pairs of shoes. Two of them were purchased online and returned because the size wasn't quite like what its label it has on it label so it was like maybe two sizes too small <laughs> that is really strange and um, yeah and so in the end i really i'm stuck with only one pair of shoes that made the cut so these are these um dark leafy colored um leather boots and the thing is that i was really hoping that i i would be able to wear them without untying laces but it's unfortunately not the case and if you have been following my channel for some time you know that i hate zippers i hate laces i don't like any kind of I don't know, stuff, binding stuff on the shoes. So my favorite type of shoes is something like Chelsea style or like just simple, um, I don't know, like cowboy, cowboy boots style, but without these other, other things. So, and um, uh, so I really thought I, I, I would be quite fine, but unfortunately when I'm wearing something like tights or um, very thin socks, <laughs> they just, um, they don't work because they are too wide for me. This area is too wide. And because um, of the shape of my feet, um, I, they really, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very easy to lose the boot <laughs> when I'm not tying it properly. And so I tried to use elastic uh, shoelaces and unfortunately they also don't work because um, they make this part um, too tight. And this is the part where with my ankle and if and this is very sturdy part. And so if it's too tight near my ankle, around my ankle, Part. so I have blisters unfortunately so I'm stuck with ordinary shoelaces for the moment but at least they are warm enough and they are waterproof at least for now so they do the trick for me and also um, recently I got my online orders from Aliexpress and it's probably the same like Alibaba or in what, whatever is available in your country. So I ordered this ultrasonic uh, tooth cleaner and it's not a toothbrush. It's, um, it, it is supposed to clean uh, scale on, on your teeth, like usually between your teeth. And um, it's like a build up that it's not for it is not possible to clean it with your toothbrush. It's it's like a harder kind of build up. And um, surprisingly, this this really works, and it came in this box. And it is um, so it is all in Chinese, almost all in Chinese. And it is uh, YC2, and uh, it is, I don't remember the name of the brand, but I know this is a sub-brand of Xiaomi. So I was expecting a good quality product, 
and it really works and uh, the quality of the packaging was really surprising because it is a very sturdy box and it came wrapped in plastic so it was like only um, tearing up the plastic you can open the box and it's not a good thing if you're thinking about the planet but of course if you're ordering online you're stuck with plastic so and it also has uh, these additional parts uh, for different types of cleaning and this dentistry mirror or what you, you name it, I don't know. So, and it works. And the reason I bought it, and I, I think before or two months ago, I didn't really know it existed even. And I was just randomly searching and that what came up. Um, I think, or it was like recommended in the YouTube feed. So I watched the review and I was surprised because I thought that these kind of products it would co cost like, I don't know, way more. So this product, it was something around $40. So relatively inexpensive because uh, in some countries only a check up um, at the dentist it is something like fifty dollars or thirty dollars and of course cleaning proper cleaning is way more so and um, with this item with this uh, product i was able to clean my teeth and not only my teeth but my dog's teeth and of course my dog doesn't really like um, being treated with ultrasound and so it's a process in <laughs> it's a real process so it's, I still need to clean some more but it works surprisingly and it's not that uncomfortable and if you really want uh, to for me to discuss it uh, in a de in detail to, I I think I'll make a uh, just an additional video talking about this reviewing this product and please let me know in the comments if you're interested so yeah it's a good one i tested it and um, it works surprisingly it works so and the second, the second product so right now it's packaged like this and it's an ipl hair removal machine you can call it so it looks like this maybe some of you heard about it by the name brand like kenzi or lux skin or rose something initially it is the same product just sub branded and so as i heard that for example kenzi costs something like 250 dollars this guy, where, what I have in my hand right now, uh, I ordered it from AliExpress and it was only maybe $30, less than $30, maybe $25. So $250 versus $25, you got me. So um, it works but i haven't been testing it for that long so it's been only two weeks since i received the package and so i cannot tell you about any real results by now and i think i will be filming a, an additional video about my thoughts and results but if you are you really want to know more about this no name product uh, I think I'll I'll put a link down below with my purchase, but I do recommend because uh, the prices prices fluctuate. Um, you can also choose around. You can look around and choose um, maybe the best price for that product. But I also do recommend that you um, check um, 
the, the quantity of orders. So I, when I choose anything from, for example, AliExpress, I, uh, I always look through reviews. I always um, keep in mind uh, the, like the ranking and i also look at the number of orders and if it's very low well it may be okay it's just a new vendor but i don't gamble usually i don't gamble and i order something like in the middle with lots of orders with lots of reviews and with a good um, total score so this guy it, it really met all the criteria so yeah and it it works well it does the flashes so it uh, if you don't know what how it works so it flashes um, I think um, infrared pulse light and it targets it targets target, target, <laughs> it targets melatonin in your um, in your hair so the brownish thing in your hair and this is how it almost destroys the root of the hair and so it starts the hair starts starts growing or it becomes lighter and less thicker so well and now i'm checking it on my legs and on my arms and maybe in a few months i'll talk in details about the results so yeah, this is uh these are my three main items that I purchased in October. If you enjoyed this video, do let me know in the comments and like it. If you want to know more about these products, about IPL uh, product and ultrasonic cleaner, uh, stay tuned. Do subscribe to my channel, and I uh, think I'll make videos about this one this one's later on uh, have a nice day and see you very very soon bye bye